Hello, one, two, one, two. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Nelson. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. And you, how are you today? Um, I'm good. I'm good. I actually work on the car and well, I went I went to pick up the kids at noon and then we had lunch out of the house. Then I came back home and I and I worked on the car. Oh, it is raining a little bit. I'm sorry? Here is raining a little bit. Oh yeah, it's raining a little bit, but yeah, it's raining a little bit. That's what I heard. How's your health? I feel better. Thank you for asking, teacher. That's good. Yes, but I I, I have to work tomorrow, and I wish I wish rest at home, but I can't. I wish I could. I could. I wish I could stay at home. Okay. Yeah. What about Sunday? Do you work on Sunday? Yes, only Sunday is my day off. Actually, I work from Monday to Saturday. Really? Yes. But tomorrow, I I I will work. From seven a.m. to three forty-five. Oh, tomorrow. You know, I, I when I used to work, when I used to work in a regular schedule, a mortal schedule. <laughs> um, uh -huh. I never understood working on Saturdays. You know, from eight to twelve. <laughs> It's overtime. No, I mean, it's just you do nothing. If you work in an office on Saturdays between 8 and 12, you do nothing. Because it's just four hours. And then the morning, the mornings go by really fast. Yes. Yeah, I remember my coworkers complaining, oh, my God, why, why are we here? There's nothing to do. <laughs> And suddenly, okay, let's go. Bye bye. That's really fast. It's time to go. Yes. Mm -hmm. But in my case, it's, uh, it's different because I have a lot of work. Why? What do you do? What What do you work on? It's it's a little difficult to explain, but I work I work in a in a company that they do jackets. A company that does jackets. Yes, it's a factory. It's a factory, okay. And yes. Are you an <clears throat> oper an operator or what? It's a little difficult to explain because I uh, I and into the the department, it is an office, but hmm. I I make markers. It's like the it's like the, a big paper. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a printer, more or less, to with meters. Okay, with meters. Uh, so do you, you put, do you print the art? Yes, I I printed the 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 different kind of jacket. For example, the sleeve, front, back, and also the the accessory like uh, the back. Mm. Yes, all all part of the of a jacket. I print I print in a paper. After that, there is a courier courier department. A courier department. 
or curing, 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 it's curing, curing, uh huh. So they they lay fabric on a table, a long table. After that, after that, they put the 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 marker or printer on the fabric. There is a a machine that cut every single a part machine, of the, a machine the, a machine that cuts that, the patterns. Yes, the part of the jacket. It's a little difficult to explain and to understand. No, I do understand. That's what I. Well, that's my what my wife do. That's what she does. That's what she yes, does yeah. at her job. I mean, she is the financial. No, what is it? Hold on. Yeah, financial administrator of the company. But the she she is the accountant, the person in charge of the purchases of the purchasing department. Uh, she manages the production as well. Yes. She plans yes. she plans the production. Of and course. and she goes with the uh, how do we say this? Um, she works with the table, the cutting table. She yes. works with the cutting table people. And and you know what? Recently something happened. She's she's looking for um a cutter. Okay, she's looking for a cutter because um, the guy that used to work there, um she um he was a relative of a gang member. So police took him and that was that was like what is it uh, nine months ago at the beginning of the year they took him to to prison okay and he didn't do anything i mean he was just related to one of these people and man ever since then she has been in so many tr so many problems you know because um last time last week she had an order a huge order for one of the clients And she said to the to the cutting table people, we need these two orders. And they mix the orders. So they place the wrong patterns in el tendido. I don't know how to say el tendido, the tela, right? So the cloth, they put the wrong patterns and the, yes. wrong, the wrong sizes and they cut it. Yes, all size. It was the wrong sizes, you know, man was a big mistake a communication problem yeah, yeah but i i know what you're saying um and it's very yes. interesting i have i have been there i i have seen and i have helped laying the laying the cloth on the table yes yeah and then put in the pattern paper. on paper yes this this is a korean company a korean company Yes, and also they they there are uh, the same company in Bangladesh, Canada too, mm. in Korea. It's a big company. So wait, do you use a printer on the paper roll that goes on top of the table? Yes. So you are the one with the plants, you know, with that paper roll. Printed. Yes, you just. It's a paper roll. Oh my God. Yes, I have two. Two printers. Mm -hmm. Two huge yes. printers. Yes, and I and I make the the marker to curing. Uh-huh. I got you. Interesting. Interesting job. Okay, guys, let me start. Thank you, Nelson, for the chip chat. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you too. Everybody, please turn on your camera so we can start doing the attendance and then we go from there. Okay, Adriana Jose Serna Duran. It's Friday and the body knows it. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present. Hi, thank you. Erika Jasmine Martinez Carpio. Present. Okay, Erika, thank you for joining us. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present. Thank you. Welcome back. <laughs> 
Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present teacher. Thank you. Ivan Petrovic Guzmán Aquino. Present. Oh my God, Ivan, I didn't send you the grammar thing. I'll do it in a minute. Sorry. We will do that. <laughs> Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present teacher. Great. Jolman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Lucy Nathalie Juárez de Ramírez. Nelson Antonio de Rodas Rosales. Present. Okay. Ruth Isela Joaquín Flores. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Thank you. And Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Vanessa is not here tonight. Okay, we are just nine tonight. And that's good. That is actually good. So, do you remember yesterday's topic? What did we do yesterday? Oh, we practiced about neither nor, right? Yes. Okay. Good. I hope you were able to practice as well at home and do multiple exercises. Tonight, we have to talk about needs of um, training identifying training needs in your job. We're going to go through a presentation and then you are going to prepare a presentation as well through a reading. There's a, a lecture that we must go through, which is on your book as well. And that's what we're gonna do today. That's the plan. Uh, so I have Erika Sik. Um, She's the only one, okay, that's excused, let's say. Did we lose anybody? Yeah, I think one of you, oh no, there is Samantha, okay. Good, so let's start. Let me start by presenting and explaining to you this topic, tonight's topic, which is identifying training needs, okay. Oh, let me make this bigger. There we go. Okay. So let's start talking about identifying training needs. Anybody, an idea of what is it to identify training needs in your work? I will need your collaboration. Uh-huh. For example, in the department of cells, uh, the cell is long. It identifies a, a training in the, in, the, in the employees. Exactly. On the sales department, there's always needs for uh, training, right? Um, new techniques for selling, selling speeches. I, I used to work at I worked for a while, for a few months at Oceano, and I used to sell the books, you know, for speaking English, and I was on the sales department. That has been the only time I was on a sales force. I don't like sales, to be honest with you. I don't know why. It doesn't go with me. And the thing is that the whole, every morning, every morning, the first thing they used to do it was a meeting, a meeting um, to encourage, to encourage the sales force to go and sell. But what was interesting to me is that there was always uh, a reinforcement, a reinforcement of the phrases and techniques we used to use to sell. Okay, how to look at the client, uh, how to what position you should have on your body and the energy you had to transmit to sell. So all of these things were training needs, constant trainings every day. Exactly. And that's what we're going to do today. Okay. Identifying the needs. So this is just an overview, understanding the fundamentals of training needs analysis helps drive effective training initiatives and align them with organizational goals. 
every single training that is developed um, pursues uh, a main goal, which is oriented with the goal of the organization. I mean, you cannot train someone to do something that will not be beneficial for the company, as simple as that. Something that may affect the company instead of helping it. And that's what it says here, basically. Okay. The benefits of identifying training needs. Um, we need to discover how identifying training needs can lead to increase employee performance, productivity, job satisfaction, and overall organizational success. Um, did I play on you the, the video from, from the Google offices in Jacksonville? Yeah, right. Did we watch the video of the Google offices? I don't remember. Daniel? No. Ivan, no? Okay. No. Nelson? No remember. No remember. Not at all. Okay. No. And the other class, maybe. <laughs> I'm sorry? And the other class, teacher. In another class, uh I don't know. I have taught this module many times. Advanced one. To be honest with you, I don't remember. Nope. I didn't play that video for you. We, we will see it after the presentation. And you will see something. So let me start basing this with the video. Um, first thing, identifying training needs can lead to increased employee performance. When an employee knows what he or she is supposed to know, of course, productivity will be greater. Right, the performance of an employee is better because you have the knowledge. Has this ever happened to you that they train you to do something? And at the beginning it's like very difficult, right? But then eventually you become a master, you master the process. And little by little, you notice that you are doing things faster. Is that true or is that? False. Is that true? That's true, right? Okay. Okay, so you but increase. Mm -hmm. But I wish to be the same thing in to, to learn English. Exactly. It has to be the same thing on learning English. It's the same thing. I mean, everything in life is a process. And if you apply discipline and consistency, you nail it. You nail it. <laughs> don't get it? You don't get it? Okay, this is like saying you can do it. You got it. You achieve it. It's a very common phrase, actually, um, for Americans. You nail it. Okay, you achieve it. What else happens when you identify uh, training needs? It increase the productivity, as I mentioned. Now, job satisfaction. Picture this. Um, back in 2004, I was working as a business administrator and they put me on the accounting department. I never liked accounting. I just don't like accounting. However, I had to learn. So they just threw me there, you know, as an auxiliary, as an auxiliary in accounting. It was so difficult. It's It's been the only time I felt uncomfortable working in accounting and I was not satisfied. And on top of that, my boss was always pushing me, pushing me, you know, to do things. And But one thing, one miracle happened, a miracle happened because he forced me, he forced me to talk to somebody in India. This was in 2004, my first experience speaking English. Okay, in full, in full, 
just speaking formally in a work environment was in 2004 at the beginning. He said, listen, we used to import tires. We used to import tires. And he said, I need to negotiate with triangle. Do you know what the triangle tires? Yeah. Like Bridgestone, Firestone, Triangle is another brand. So he said, I need to negotiate with them to become El Salvador's distributor, the distributor of tires in El Salvador. And I said, and I told him, right? I know them, they are part of my family and the three boys working on the company. And I told him, didn't you go to Escuela Americana and didn't you learn to speak English? He was like, yes, but I want you to talk in English with these people in India and bring a container full of tires. You will pay for the container. And if the container is lost in the sea, you have to pay me the container. It was $46,000 and he was serious. He was serious. Man, every day at 11 a.m., I call Merceyland. Merceyland, you know? Hey, where's my container? Oh, let me tell you right now. Your container will be with you in five days. Where is it? It's on the same place that was yesterday. Oh, my God. Right. Man, for a week, one week, I was expecting that container until it arrived. It arrived at the, the facilities. Man, I was so nervous. And then we received the tires. We went to um, we went to the aduana, aduana. Oh my God! Wait, that checking point, you know, at the border. <laughs> okay. And so, um, man, that was critical. But thank God, I was able to. I brought the guy. I brought the guy from India to El Salvador. I asked him to come to El Salvador. We took him to dinner. We had fun with him. We talked with him. I used to be the interpreter. I was the interpreter. My first time interpreting. Oh, my God. That was good. It was a good experience. So, job satisfaction? Yeah. Uh, at first, I felt uncomfortable. But then, after the experience, I realized that I was capable of doing something else. Okay, and that triggered, listen, that triggered my desire of speaking English. Okay, that's basically uh, a need that I had to improve my English and get an, a, a better job, which I did in the end. Okay, <clears throat> and let's talk a little bit about methods of conducting a training needs assessment. We have various methods, such as service. And you know what is a survey, right? A survey? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So a survey to employees. Hey, Danielle, Ivan, is there anything you need? Do you need to learn about Excel formulas? I know you work in accounting. Okay. Do you need Excel formulas? Uh, no, I know. I know how to work on Excel. Mm, okay. Do you need PowerPoint classes? English? Would you like to be on an English um, program paid by the company? Okay. Interviews, the same thing. Go and ask each of the employees. Focus groups. Focus groups uh, is not so common nowadays, especially because everything is virtual. In my company, in the company that I work for, every month they do a survey online you have to take the service and so on performance reviews when an employee is not performing good the first thing you do as a manager is go and check see the performance what's going on and offer help hey is your computer okay i mean do you need to know how to use something on the computer what's going on okay and about the sales department, as Ivan said, 
if a salesperson is not selling, what do you do? Do you fire him? Do you let him go? No, right? You help them. You just help them. That's all. Okay. And this can uh, be used to identify their, the employee's training needs accurately, accurately, accurately. Okay. To be more precise, and you, the only way to be precise is talking to people. Okay. Let's go with key steps in identifying training needs. Ivan, can you help me? Oh, yes, teacher. Would you help me, please, reading? Okay. Okay, key steps in the identifying training needs. Learn the step-by-step -step process of identifying training needs, including analyzing job roles, evaluating skills gaps, and definitely training objectives. And defining training objectives. Okay. Learn the step-by-step -step process of identifying training needs, including ana analyzing job roles, evaluating skill gaps, skills gaps, and defining training objectives. These are three very important uh, roles uh, when you need to identify training needs. My first... The teacher, teacher, yeah. the teacher. Uh, the the expression skills gaps is like a soft skill or mm -mm. no the 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 others the other skills uh no it's the lack you are ah, ah. yeah gap um, g a p gap means gaps. an empty space g a p an empty space that's what it means there's a gap. Uh, and space, you know, we need to fulfill. Good? Yep. Yep. For example, do you think that I know English in full? Do you know, do you think that I'm a native speaker? No, I still have some English gaps. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have some English gaps in mm -hmm. most of all in some technical areas, more complex um areas okay so number one analyzing job roles my first job my first task i'm sorry on this family company i noticed uh that you know how on your company there is a internal policies manual right and the first thing they do when you get to your job or the first time is the induction, right? The induction process, and they take you through the company, the offices. This person does this, this person does this, and they explain you the bathrooms are here and so on. But if the company is a big company or a serious company, they will give you, and they must, the Ministry of Labor of El Salvador states that they need to give you a little book with the internal policies of the company. True or false? Yeah, it is true. This is on the labor um, manual, you know, the labor manual. Okay, so my first task was to go on each of the positions of the company and interview the person in charge. I had to describe the processes of the position. Listen. So for example, I went, I remember I went first from the exterior to the interior of the company. So I started with the security guards. There were two security guards that had been for a long time, the security guys. So they were very humble people. You know what is to be humble? No? Humble. No. 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 Yes, teacher. You cannot say you are humble. You cannot say I'm humble. No. I'm humble? No. No. 
Only someone else can say, oh, Rafael is humble. Oh, Hector is humble. So what is if it, Hector? I, if I say I'm humble, I'm not humble. Because, uh -huh. because I uh, uh, maybe, uh, how to say, uh, re re redundo or rechazo? Redundant. Redundant? Uh -huh. Redundant the affirmation. Humble yeah. is humilde. Mm -hmm. That's the word. So these, these security guards were very humble. And they thought that they were going to lose their job. Because I was asking them, okay, at what time do you start your job? And what is the first thing that you do? And then what do you do? And then what do you do? Okay, so I was taking notes of the processes they used to do, man, on every employee of the company. The, the, the payroll, what is a payroll? No idea? Payroll. Money you receive. Huh? Monthly. The money. Oh, yeah, the money you receive. Monthly. Monthly, right? The payroll. La planilla. Okay. So the payroll was 54 employees. 54 employees. And there was only one branch in La Tiendona, in front of La Tiendona. Well, so I went through every position. I went to, to the storage. I'm sorry, to the uh, store. I learned about the inventory, how to handle the inventory. And in the end, I finished a book, a book with all of the positions. This task took me three months, three months. Of course, I was doing my other jobs, you know, my accounting. Uh, I was in charge of the purchasing department as well. And I was in charge of the payroll for the Seguro Social and all that during these three months. So I was doing that, paying the providers, you know, I used to do the checks. And then I was doing the, the other thing, describing the job positions. And that's a very important book. I don't know if you, do you have it in your company? Um, the job description book? Do you have a job description book? No? No. Yes. Yes? Yes. Who, said, who said yes, Jamie? Why is it important to have this book? Can you repeat? Why? <laughs> Why is it important to have the job descriptions? Uh, because uh, if you read it, and you are going to know what is the your your all activities. What mm. are what are all your activities? Okay. Yes. And what are all your uh, responsible responsibilities? Responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Responsibilities and uh -huh. so uh, another benefit. Oh no, another advantage. Mm -hmm. Advantage. Advantage mm -hmm. is that you, if you read. Uh, for another pause, you are going to know what are the activities for another positions. Positions. All right. So if we hire someone new for your position, if you if you leave the company and we hire someone else, then we will know what how to explain that person what she or he is going to do. Give me one second. Sorry, the rice was burned. Oh God, I'm close to the to the kitchen. <laughs> I smelled like something's burning. And yes, it was the rice. Anyways, so yeah, job roles, evaluating and now analyzing that. Um now among you know what happened when I finished this book? Uh I determined since I'm an engineer. And I know about re-engineering. Do you know what is re-engineering? Yeah? No. re right? To, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's always a way to do things better, right? There is always a way to do things in a better way. So I started each position and I determined 
there were in, in, in my experience the reengineering in, in the context uh, the context is uh on the neck <laughs> <laughs> no 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 but yeah, yeah, yeah really, I mean, really that happened that happened i determined that there were four positions that we did not need we just didn't need these four positions they were useless i mean so uh we didn't remove the people right away we trained them to do something else and i determined that we could do things better i created like four formats for um requisitions you know how to request something from the inventory from the papers uh, uh from the purchasing department because people used to get there and grab a pencil you know and just take the take the paper take the pencils take the pens uh, a book you know whatever they needed they just go and grab it and how did you know if you were losing money right in the company so I was able to identify skill gaps there. And I also identified that we needed, we urged, listen, we urged, no surgia, we urged to train the guy in charge of the inventory on how to use a computer. I mean, again, he was a humble person who had worked for the company for 10 years. 10 years working in the company and he was in charge of the inventory and it was funny you know because i used to go to the inventory and ask him hey do we have 185 60 it was like there are there are like 20 20 tires right now and i was like how do you know there are 20 tires i just know it okay do we have llantas para tractor, tractor tires? And it was like, yeah, there are three tires only. And I was like, how can you have three? We need four. <laughs> so, but he knew the inventory by memory. Can you believe it? Now, what will happen if Miguel, that was his name, what will happen if Miguel was missing in the inventory? There was nothing on the computer. So... Man, those were difficult times, but amazing. Learning was amazing in that company. It was a really nice experience. Hey. What is the translation of gaps? Oh, okay. Gaps, vacíos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Emptiness, as I said uh, to Ivan. Okay. Challenges in identifying training needs, discover common challenges organizations face when identifying training needs such as limited resources. As I said, we didn't have a computer in the inventory. Resistance to change. You know what happened with Miguel? He hated the computer. I mean, he had never seen or touched a computer. He didn't know what was a mouse, the keyboard. Oh, my God. So we had to take him to classes. He learned. He learned how to use a computer. He was like this, with two fingers, getting the inventory. Okay. And accurately measuring training effectiveness. That was clear. Like six months later, he was using the computer. Fine. Not complaining, accepting that he had to use the computer. So this happens very often. Um, the best practices you can have conducting a training needs analysis. Now, this what we have talked about is just the training needs. I'm sorry, the needs analysis. Identify what needs are there in your company, in your department could be. Um, there are best practices, books, you know, about this including involving stakeholders you can ask the stakeholders you know hey what do you think the our company needs or department needs let's say you're in the sales department they will tell you right oh you need to sell more <laughs> right but i mean do you think that if we learn english we are going to sell more because our 
clients are English speakers sometimes. Oh, okay, yeah. Leveraging, leveraging, elaborando. Technology. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Leveraging is like leveling technology and aligning training needs with the organization's strategy, strategic objectives. Always keep in mind this. Um, you know, when I was a manager at the academy, um, we changed the mission and no, not the mission, but the vision. Wait, wait, I'm lost. We changed the mission, not the vision, not the vision, but the mission of the company. So the first step to restructure the whole academy was to let everybody know what was our mission and what was our vision. From the girl that used to swipe the floor, okay, the maintenance people, the maintenance employees, to the highest levels, we all need to needed to know. We all needed to know um, what was our mission and our vision. Everybody used to know that. And and I remember the owner of the company um, did something very smart. He said, "If I if I find you sometime, there's another way of doing this." of saying this, I'm sorry. Um, oh my God, encontrarte. Mm, stop by, stop by. I forgot, the, the, there's a phrasal verb that you can use for saying that. But if you stop, if I stop by you, you know, if I find you somewhere and I ask you, what's our mission? What is our vision? And if you answer both things good, I'll give you $50. That's, he was crazy. He was really crazy. And can you imagine that? Your boss stops you, Ivan, and he goes like, what's our mission? And our vision? Good job. Here you have $50. Okay. <laughs> See, that's the point. That was the point. And, he, and that's what happened. That is what happened. That is exactly what happened. He ended up paying like $250, okay? Five people. He asked to five people. And you know what? One of them was the secretary, the receptionist. He asked the receptionist about the mission and the vision, and she answered, and he paid the money. So it works. Always uh, compensating people it works a lot. It's very effective. Um, so key takeaways. It is very important to identify training needs. It's always that you always, it's, it's something that you always have to do and keep in mind, okay? Um, and encourage your company. Not, I mean, just because you're an employee, it doesn't mean that you cannot propose something if it is good for the company, right? Or is it prohibited? Is it not allowed to, to say an idea in your job? Are you allowed to say something in your company if you have an idea? Everybody, no. everybody's like, no, no, no. What? You're not allowed? No. No, you cannot say anything. No. <laughs> because why? Because is is it a big company? <laughs> And yes, it's a big company and the person that had the authority are so old. <gasps> so the the world the kinds of world is so um, antiquated. <laughs> How do you say antiquated in English, guys? Old school old school old school mm -hmm. there are oh. other ways there are other ways of saying that and it's an adjective actually outdated outdated oh like outdated 
Uh huh. I'll date it. I will say old school. They are old school, although that that's not formal. Okay, old old school is not formal. Nosotros tenemos un compañero acá en esta academia, saber qué se habrá hecho. Era el más viejito de todos los profesores. Y así le llamábamos. Mm -hmm. Hey, old school. Hey, old school. Hey, what's up? He was very <laughs> funny. He was always smiling, you know. He was a nice person. Okay. So, identifying training needs. Important. Let's, uh, let me give you what I promised you. I'm, we're going to watch that video. It's just like six minutes or so. Let me find it really quick. What do you think about identify? Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. Let me continue with that topic. Um, Jamie, have you ever tried to give an idea in your company? Yes, but uh, I did. I did give the, my idea in the past, but nowadays I not trying yet anymore. <laughs> I'm not trying anymore. <laughs> Why? Because I... They said no, and that's it. Yes. <gasps> okay. I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> okay, guys. What you're about to see, it's something that changed part of my perspective a long time ago when I watched this video because this was uploaded to YouTube 11 years ago picture that this was uploaded to youtube 11 years ago and it changed my point of view because it's a dream job it is a for me it was a dream job so let me send a link to your whatsapp nos quedamos acá solo voy a ponernos en silencio vean el video enciendan los closed captions okay and como parte de la dinámica Find at least three words, three new words. Simple. Encuentren tres palabras nuevas. Y quiero su opinión después del video, okay? I need your opinion. I mean, what do you think about the video, okay? Let's go.
No, pues, wow. <risa> What? No, pues, wow, dijo que. No, pues, wow. <risa> Yeah. It's no difference in different company in Salvador in the sense there's no difference. <laughs> actually, actually, there is a call center with a very similar environment in El Salvador del Mundo. I'm not gonna say the name, but it's one of the best ones mm. because they, they have a gym, they have a gym, they have a cafeteria on each level of the building. Fridge, microwaves, TVs, Xboxes. You can play with the Xboxes with computers. What else? And Food. that's it. That that's for me. That's like the best call center. And and they pay every other Friday. Did I teach you that every other? Did I teach you every other? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Remember. Uno sí, uno no, right? So they pay every other Friday. The, these are benefits. And they pay 13 salaries. So from the first year you, you work there, they start paying you 13 salaries. Okay, so what are your impressions about this video? Uh, this, year, this, this video was made 11 years ago. I I I asked uh, 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 this year the uh, the employee have the same advantage. I don't know. The same. Do you, the your question is if the employees may still mm -hmm. have the same advantages, the same mm -hmm. benefits. Benefits. Yes. Benefit. The same benefit. Of course, they do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know what I wonder? What do they do? What's their mm -hmm. job? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but they still have the same benefits. What was your favorite benefit, Daniel? Um, meal. Free meal. <laughs> Free meals. <laughs> Man, but you get fat, right? You, you may get yeah. fat if you don't know, if you don't be careful with the food. And yeah, they, yeah, have, exactly. they have candies, a lot of candies. Oh my God. Exactly. <laughs> I am happy with uh, a coffee at 4 p.m. <laughs> now imagine I'm having happy. having uh, all the coffee you want to take. And it's not just coffee, it's espressos, cappuccinos. I mean, oops. <laughs> and free, free. Okay, I I I I I full. I I I want a full uh, thermo, and I send sell in the uh, at the street. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, typical Salvadorian, right? <laughs> uh, business, business. <laughs> it's just like the it's just like the donuts. People is selling the donuts a dollar. Yeah. Do you what? see the picture? The picture of it's... a man, a man in a motorcycle with fifty box. Fifty donuts, fifty donuts boxes, right? No, yes. I didn't. I didn't see that picture. Wow. <laughs> yes, I see. <laughs> wow. Business man. It's a man business. <laughs> it's a businessman. Yes, it's a businessman. Yeah. Good yeah. job. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. Uh huh. Ivan, did you like that job? Mm, so bad, so good. <laughs> depend, depend the days. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, on no. the video. Did you watch the video? Ah, the video. Yeah. Ah. No, no, no! It's it's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's the world place. It's interesting. Uh, I so um interesting, interesting. Uh, the ways uh, the company create environment for a a wake uh wake up and the employees a uh, creativity. Yeah, for instance, 
de, 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 de games, de, games, de, 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 de massage, massage, the messaging sessions, yes, massaging sessions, once a year on your birthday, yeah, interesting. It's la the what about the, the cars? The music? cars. There are like the, the cars of cars. Oh. Okay, I have a question for everybody. What do employees use the cars for? What do they use the cars for? What do they do when they take the car? Everybody. Why do you do they take the cars? Where do they go on the electric cars? To your house? Their house. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no. They said it. If they need to go out of the facilities and come back. Mm. I mean, I guess if you if it is an emergency and you have to go home and you don't have your car, you can take one and then bring it back, right? But they said, uh, this is new vocabulary, errands. You know what are errands? I need to do errands. Mandado. Aha, uh -huh. good, Vanessa, Man mandados, right? Mm. They said if they need to do some errands, they can take the car and then plug it back in to do errands. Okay, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do you think they need any kind of training on this place? Yes. Gentlemen, what? Yes. What What kind of training do you think they they will need? Because what do they do, Yolman? What What's their job? If you work for Google, what do you think they do? I don't know. It's about software system. Uh, I think it's like you have to learn. They're inspired. About, yes. about system problems to solution to solve. With, with with problems software i don't know mm -hmm. it's about it's about network and system yes a I lot of things who knows uh i don't know much about designing about... right did yes. you see the, did you see the guy paint uh, drawing on a tablet he was drawing on a tablet designing yes. designing google's Okay, man, yeah, but that, do you think that's a dream job, Hector? Is that a dream job? Dream job for me? For everybody. I mean, do you think that that will be a dream job? Maybe, maybe, or could be, but I I have a two or three um, impression, impression. Mm -hmm. uh, and the video never see if they are inclusive. Never, I, never show uh, people wait, wait. with. Wait, I didn't. Uh, I didn't see. Uh huh. I didn't see. Mm -hmm. uh, they are uh, inclusive for the inclusive people. Never show show well. Women show well, or did it show? Uh -huh. Women. Uh, no people with the uh, capacity. Cap oh, special, capacity. special needs. People uh -huh. with special it's true. I didn't see anybody on a wheelchair. Nothing. But nothing. I guess I guess they do. I, I think they they do. It's probably if, but, mm -hmm. if you heard it's like four four blocks. The complex, the whole complex is like four blocks. Man, it's it's huge. It's, it's just, mm -hmm. really big. Uh-huh. Okay, continue. The first, second, second, uh, I think, and on our life is free. I think it's a good, <laughs> uh, but I don't know if they have uh, life 
like you and like me and all, all my my uh, companion partners. Yeah, maybe a book because they uh, live in, inside the Google. I think if if they uh, get married or get uh, fall in love only with the people inside of Google. I don't know if they have a, a life. Maybe they have a good good uh, remuneration. Good payment. Um, pay payment, huh? I think I I, I think they have a good 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 uh, buck <laughs> inside the books. But I don't know. I um, they I um uh, so they have a farm inside the Google. It's a they, good. They said, area. yeah, it's true. They said, yeah. this is my area. I am an agronomist. I think, hey, I can, oh. I can work here. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but the the price, I don't know. Um, it's a good idea, but I don't know why they have a, a lot of uh, benef benefits. 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 I don't know why. Uh -huh. I don't know why. Maybe um, where they get the money for pay and get and 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 have. All the benefits, like uh, maybe uh, all the people have a Google in the in device and the computer and the cell phone. I think they uh, they they get a lot of money. With a lot the of device. money. A let lot me of money. let me scare you. Let me uh -huh. scare you. An intern, Winterino, an intern. In that company that you saw on the video, okay, by month, could could earn seven thousand dollars a month. Seven thousand dollars a month. In a year, an intern can make up to eighty six thousand dollars a year. A software engineer, which is the highest job you can have a software engineer can make up to one hundred and eighty one thousand dollars <laughs> per, per year so monthly is fifteen thousand dollars insane they are insane <laughs> but we're talking about a software engineer somebody who's Mine is a computer. I mean, he's he's a computer. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's that's crazy. Okay. That, so those two impressions. What's the third one? You you said you had another impression. I don't know. Nah, I I saw three three um no two two new words. Perks teacher. I don't know what say with perks. Mm -hmm. P a -R I got it. P e s p e r. K S. Uh huh. K S. <laughs> B E R K S. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perks are uh, the plus, the additional of something. For example, um, what are the the amenities? It's a synonym. A synonym of amenities in a hotel. In a hotel, amenities are the pool. What else? Uh, the air conditioning, the bathtub, if there is a bathtub on the room, and so many other, right? Uh, the 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 buffet, the buffet service, those are amenities. Perks are a synonym of uh, amenities. It's just like the plus in a place in yeah. your job. Huh. Do you have any perks in your job? I uh, maybe, <laughs> I think so. Another synonym for this um, word could be benefits. Uh -huh, benefits. Mm -hmm. okay, benefits. Any other? Roller blades. Teacher. Roller blades are shoes with wheels. Ah, okay. <laughs> and, and another is, and, and, the, and the last is uh -huh. hook it up. Hook, hook, hook it up. Uh, hook it up. Uh, hook it up. H O O K, right? Hook it up to connect it. That's to, right. To plug connect? it. To plug it. My computer. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, hook up your computer. Hook up your computer. Oh, That's okay. what they do with the electric cars, right? Just all they need to do is bring the car back and hook it up. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I, got it. I got it. Thank you. Thank Great you. Great job. Thank you, Hector. Jamie? Amenities. Can you write it? Amenities. Just the way it sounds. Amenities. Amenities. The facilities. Okay. Right? The amenities. The facilities. Oh, or did I say, oh, no, no, no. The word that I said, amenities. Yes, facilities. The different extras on the hotel any other did you like the video overall yeah yeah, yeah. from top from the top of from a top of from a top up <laughs> so that was good not a T O P. Oh, a, a top. You know what? That's a word that uh, British people use a lot. A top. From a top. From a top. Encima. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's above average. Above average. A top. Okay. Good. So tonight we have. To continue talking about the importance of training and development in the workplace and there are some fields that we need to study a little bit more um, regarding training needs needs assessments so let's talk about it there is an article on your workbook hold on the first thing we have to do is talk about that there it is Yeah, is this this article? I think. Hold on. Yeah, the importance of training and development in the workplace. But first, we need to find out about these four uh, concepts. Okay. So, number one, moving on with the topic. Have you ever attended a training program that did not address the specific needs of your workplace area? You might be familiar with this. Have you ever attended a training that had nothing to do with your work? With your job, I'm sorry. No? In my case, I received a training from... From the outside, and fire, fire department. It's a, it's about first aid. First aid. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and uh, probably probably you can say it's nothing about about your my uh, about my job, mm -hmm. but in some cases it's necessary. To how the knowledge. Yes. In in case of emergency, you yes. you you how you need to how to do. You need is useful. Yes. yes I, I saw a video. I saw a video two days ago, and it's still on my mind. Um, a kid, a little boy, was having oh. lunch. Was having lunch with his parents on the yard and he started choking he started ah, yeah. choking with yeah. the food and he exactly. stood up he stood up he started turning purple and the mother rushed grabbed him and then called the father and the father knew first aids so he yeah. was able to to do the how do you call this there's a name for this the hinglem yeah. maneuver yeah, maneuver, yeah. Uh -huh, uh, hind the maneuver, something yeah. like that. But and he, he grabbed him from the back and he was able to save him. He was about yeah. to die. So yeah, I thought it. I thought about that, Daniel, what you're saying, because my wife received the training from Ministerio de Trabajo, Ministry of Labor. It's a requirement now 
to have a, a brigade of first aids in, in your job. Everybody exactly. needs needs to be involved. Exactly. That's exactly. true. Okay, mm -hmm. so do you think that helped you to develop yourself as an employee? Myself, uh, not, an, not as, as an employee, it's uh, like a, a, as a person. As a person. Okay. Because um, the knowledge uh, I can use here in my house. But with my, do you, with don't my you house. don't you feel safer at work? Sorry. Don't you feel safer at your at your at your job? Uh, if I feel safe in my job. Safer. Más seguro. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I, I feel. Yes, I feel in, in safer. <laughs> yeah, hey. I talk about my family because I, yes. have, a, I have a son two years, uh, three years old. I repeat, mm -hmm. I have a three-year-old. Three, I have a three-year-old. Mm -hmm. Good job. Mm -hmm. I have a three-year-old. You can also say I have a toddler. I think that's I the right answer. A toddler. You know what is a toddler? Mm, no. Nope. Infante. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. A toddler. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Um, do they conduct surveys in your workplace to identify if you need something? Everybody? Have they ever conduct a survey, Fatima, Erika, Erika Sik, uh, Samantha, Ivan, Joman, Vanessa? No, oh, teacher, I, I haven't. I have never. You've never done a survey in your job. Okay. Yeah, in my case, they asked if we need some training. And we send information, but we never receive some training. <laughs> oh my God. So a... it's, it's a waste of time. <laughs> there is a gap. <laughs> yeah. There is a gap. Okay. Okay. But, well, we already talked to Daniel. I think that there's always something good, you know, on learning something in your job and that improves you. So let's go with this. Um, work that you have pending on your workbook and this is page sorry i cannot see it page 15 on page 15 you have four simple concepts how many are we we are 10 right now i couldn't split you in four groups because that will be couples basically so i'm just gonna do three groups and each group needs to find out the definitions on the internet of business needs and goals, gap skills analysis, survey, survey, and performance appraisal. Performance, performance appraisal, appraisal. Okay, so this is on page 15 of your workbook. Please work together to find the definition of these four concepts, okay? One, two, three, let's go.
a work. I'm okay right now. Mm, good. But it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> or do you work tomorrow? No, no, no. <laughs> hey, Ivan, uh, I send you the rules to modify the verse in third person, right? I yeah, yeah like this. I see third person rules. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Do you need the grammar? How to build sentences? Yeah. Okay, let me do that too. So good. Sharing. I'm I'm gonna share the whole presentation with you, okay? Because yes, I, I have you. a presentation that I use. Solo no le ponga atención al tema ni a los videos ahí, ahí en el en la presentación, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. It's a Prezi presentation. There you go. Mm -hmm. Ok, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> The road ahead, what do you see? Oh. Just try to be very creative with that presentation. The point of that first question is to find vocabulary. So look at the image. What do you see? The road, the streets, the pines, poles, a fence, the mountains, the sky. <laughs> a lot of vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. So let's find the terms. Okay. 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 The triangle strategy. Benchmark analyze. What's meaning benchmark? Bench, I I I I know. I wait, know. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you bait peep? Dean. Yes, page 15. Thank you. Page 15. Ah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. It's okay. Business needs and goals. Surveys. Gap skill analysis. Performance appraisal. Mm -hmm. Okay. You need the definition. Okay. Yes, find the definition of each of the four concepts business needs and goals, gap skills analysis, survey, and performance appraisals. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Sure.
How good? <coughs> I agree with you, uh, your mom. Yes. The, the next That's... is gap skill analysis. I not remember what the, the mean of gap. Gap skill. Emptiness. Teacher, what is gap? What is gap? I don't em remember. Emptiness. An empty space. There's nothing. Nothing box. The nothing. You know, there's a big space, an empty space with nothing. Physical or not physical? Uh huh. Tangible or intangible, right? Ah. Gap. And is skill? Skill. Skill. Mm hmm. Aptitude, your capacity of doing something, ability. Ah. Uh, ability is a synonym. Gap skills analysis. Gap. Let me Google. <laughs> Make a lot more money for Google when I search everything. <laughs> Gap skill. Hey. Skill. Analysis. 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 How to conduct a skill gap analysis? No, I don't know. But, uh, well, damn, I just... A skill gap is the disparity between the skill employees required and those possessor. Possessor? Possessor. Possessed uh, by the for workforce performing a skill gap analysis is in identifying necessary skills for business objective, informing both employees development initiative and hiring program. Hmm. Here's how the conduct skill gap analysis. Step one plan. Oh my goodness, it's a big idea. Step two, step two. Step two, identify important skill. Step three, measure current skill. Uh, step four, act. And that's it. Ooh. You're done? Mm. I not understand. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let me see. This parity between the skills employees required and those possessed by the work or their workforce. Performing mm -hmm. a skills gap analysis aids in identifying necessary skills for business objectives. That's basically what we're talking about, right? Or what we have been talking on, yeah, gap skills analysis is uh, the needs of training, I mean, how to identify the needs of training. I'm going to move from, from classroom because you cannot project images like that, you know, because. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Co copyrights, okay, I'll, I'll I be know. back. Thank you. Because gap skill analyzer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have this one. Okay. Um... Yes. Performance of 
friends. Okay, uh, sending sending the 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 example the the concepts. Um, let me see. Let me see. A price, it says, is like an evaluation. Appraisal. Uh, Appraisal. Uh, appraising. The dictionary says making or expressing a critical judgment or evaluation. Makes so, sense. So I think perform an appraisal is when you make uh, an I, evaluation. I I got I got it the concept. They say how to do content a skills gap analyze. A skill gap is the disparity between the skill employers required and those possessed by their work workforce. Performing a skill gap analysis, I ace identify necessary skill. For business objectives, mm -hmm. informing but employee development initiatives and hiring. Uh, identify necessary skill or business objectives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's identify. I, I, your think, I think so. I think so. The analyze depend the 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 vision the vision or mission the company. Of Maybe. the company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's like what is your your necessity of your skills. Uh -huh. I understand that. Uh, for example, the employees don't have uh, skills, the soft skills, for example, em empathy. Excel. Or... <laughs> Excuse me? Excel. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Ah, it's, it's, a, it's a it's a hard skill. It's a, it's a it's a it's a ability uh, uh, technicians excel. English. <laughs> English. <laughs> I need English. Me too. <laughs> yeah. So send this definition to the chat. So performance appraisal is a performance review or revolution. This 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 process to evaluate your the job of a uh, uh, employee. Mm -hmm. It's a structure and periodic assessment designed to provide feedback to employees, recognize their achievements, identity areas to for improvement and align individual performance with organization goals. This is performance advice. Performance skills, performance skills for business. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, y the performance at price, at price. Yeah. Uh, What's my name? Uh, 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 okay, it's, it's a performance review or evaluation in systematic process using the organization to assess the job performance and the contributions of the employee. Their performance at the point show how price send it. Quiero ver, dice, what is, what is performance appraisals? ¿Qué es? Performance appraisal is a system. Dice que es es system and periodic process of measuring individual work performance uh -huh. against the establishing required of the job. is a subjective evaluation of the employee's strength and weakness. Ah, debilidad. Ah, debilidad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is related work, work on the organization and future development potential. Performance uh -huh. analysis are are also calling performance evaluation, performance review, e development discusses or employees apply. Oh. Yeah, you got it. Ahorita, ahorita. Okay. Ahí tenemos una idea. Look. Ah, es que es evaluación del desempeño, es. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Pues well, sí. Performance appraisal. Okay. Systematic and periodic process of measuring and individual poor performance. It's like uh, cuando hacen una. Bueno, no todas las empresas la hacen evaluaciones de desempeño cuando llegan. Como un checklist, un checklist, vea, o a ver la, 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 la calidad del trabajo, o no sé. O a veces yeah. son, le dan este, hay como una especie de, de indicadores, ¿verdad? Donde le dicen, ah, sí. por ejemplo, en, en el servicio al cliente, ¿verdad? Una evaluación ahí de, del trabajo. Prácticamente es eso, yeah. entiendo. I think in the majority of companies make that. Uh -huh, porque dice subject, subject evaluation of the employees strength, o sea, fortalezas. Mm -hmm. And witnesses. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you say and you say strength, strength, strange, mm, strength, strange. Mm -hmm. No es sh, sino strange. Es vamos a dividirlo. Strength, mm -hmm. strength, strength. Porque con G termina. Strange. Es, es G. Uh -huh. Strength. Strange. 
Strength. No, no. Um, no cierres la boca, me tengan la boca abierta. Strange. 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 Ahí. Strength. Strange. Okay. Strength. Abierta, open mouth in the, in the song G, ¿eh? uh -huh. Después de la G hago una S. Strength. 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 Uh -huh. Strength. Ahí está. Strength. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. I think we can just go back again, okay? Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, who would like to share with the class the meaning of the first concept, the definition of the first concept, um, business needs and goals? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Business needs and goals for a determined target that a business or individual plans to achieve in a set period of time. Okay. Another con another concept for that one, guys. Another definition for business needs and goals. Uh, with my own words, uh, I think all companies uh, want the same, uh, have good sales, and don't have problems, demand, or bad, bad sales. And, but but and you're, you're focusing on goals goals and needs business needs okay having sales goals because there's a difference between needs and goals so needs are to have good sales that could be a goal too right to have good sales grow grow up grow up oh grow. to grow to grow 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 and and pass the 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 goal. All comp all, all companies have a, a a month goal. I a monthly I monthly goal. Monthly goal. Mm -hmm. I think yes. Yep. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Yolman. By the way, Yolman, you're staying with me ten minutes. Okay. Okay at the end of the class thank you gap skills analysis who got the definition for gap skills analysis teacher mm -hmm. the instrument for know how many training is necessary to for ground up the company 
to grow up to, to grow the company up. Uh, review review the use of four and two Hector on this uh, what you just said four versus two. Okay. Um, example. Uh huh. No. Um. Maybe a uh, what is the the area to 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 improve? Um. Search like uh maybe a uh, production area mm -hmm. is necessary uh, training for this this uh this area <laughs> or if necessary a uh, seller sell uh, on the sales department sales department mm -hmm. sales department uh -huh. is necessary identify uh, what is the training they ne uh, they needed for for uh, grown up or oh, improve to grow to grow area. grow to grow this mm -hmm. area i think teacher good perfect okay good job uh let me see one more definition just actors said the definition one more definition for gap skills analysis teacher i will is a process in you which identify missing missing skills and develop a plan to fill them to fulfill them yes to to achieve them to correct them yeah okay next survey that's easy survey the definition of survey <clears throat> Someone else, the definition of survey? Nelson, Erika, Vanessa, Jamie? It's a method that okay. we use to collect data, information from, from a group of, in this case, of employees mm -hmm. to, in order to get their, op their opinions, their, their opinion. preference, the, the information on that uh, a specific topic about a specific topic. Good job. Yeah, a survey is more effective when you are more um, direct on your questions. If you add only direct questions, yes, no questions. Um, but open questions are good too. Last, performance appraisal. Appraisal. Performance appraisal. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's similar to the survey, but the difference is the survey uh, do outside of the company and the uh, performance appraisal, performance appraisal is uh, inside uh, maybe uh, the partners, partners, the company. If how, how many or uh, how improve the company uh, compared the last month, I think, or last years, how how we do for make for grow to grow the company to grow to make the company grow. I had to make the company grow. Hmm. Okay. Uh, no, thank you, thank you, Hector. Another definition. One more definition for. Um, <clears throat> performance appraisal. Teacher. Yep. I think is the the way that that a company. Yes. Sorry. That a company follow the process in a employee, maybe during in a year. In a year. Maybe the, maybe they 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 progress against the goals of a company. Okay, so they they contrast the progress with the goals with the expectations. Yes, yes, yes exactly. Okay, let me go over each. Go really quick. We're almost done. Um. 
So this was on page 15, business needs and goals, exactly the way Jolman said. Um, there's a difference, right? But in this case, the, the point of view, the perspective we're studying is what does the business, the business need to correct? What does the business need to correct? Uh, and what does it need, even though it sounds redundant, but what is needed to make the company grow? What are we lacking? What are we missing in the company? Do we need more employees? Do we need our employees to become more engaged, more to develop their skills even more? And goals, why is this related? Because the more you identify your needs in the company, uh, the closer you will be to your goal. However, if you don't know where you're taking your company, then you are doomed, you are lost. Uh, let me give you a, clue, a quick example. Uh, the company, a company that I work for, a family business, another family business, back in 2003, they thought about, the, the how, how can I say this in English? Diversifying, yeah. Diversifying their products because the company only produces or used to produce um, women on their wear. Now, pay attention to this. In El Salvador, manufacturing women underwear back in 2002, 2003, was a challenge because there was a lot of competition, a lot of competition. You had Lovable. Come on, girls. Help me, Vanessa. <laughs> Fatima. You had Lovable. Um, let me think about another. Regina, I think I can remember the name of the other companies. Me you neither, teacher. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> no. Okay. Yolanda de Cire. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Daniel. I'm so, not this kind of girl, I think. <laughs> but she... why? I'll tell you why, Fatima. Maybe you don't know about this, but. Back in 2002, 2003, you had Yolanda Desiree, you no, had... No, no, Victor, Victoria's Secret. No, 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 wait, wait, <laughs> National. <laughs> no. No, 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 National, National product. Ah, National. Um, well, not so National, right? Because Lovable is not... My classmate girl is at the other label, no? Is that... Is that... <laughs> Okay. Ivan, oh my God, my classmate is in, a, is in another level. Is in another level. Okay. Level. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's more fancy, maybe Victoria's Secrets. But oh, wait, yes, wait, wait. Yes. In two thousand two, many companies. What happened? They were thinking about diversifying the production, not just produce women underwear, women bras. So they thought about about it but they didn't put it in action they didn't uh concrete the, the the plan what happened like all of the competitors they went down they stopped manufacturing in el salvador why because the chinese competitors came to el salvador mm -hmm. and and now you can find uh women underwear downtown in el centro downtown very cheap exactly <laughs> and with quality yeah chinese don't use uh thread they don't use thread anymore they glued they glued the pieces you know uh oscar nelson i'm sorry nelson they 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 cut the pieces, but instead of threading, sewing, yeah. okay, they use yeah. glue. And yeah, the material, okay. the material is elastic. It's amazing. It's, it's, even when you touch but, but it. It's, mm -hmm. it's more com comfortable. It's, yes. it's more comfortable for the woman. 
is more yes, comfortable more comfortable somehow, for women not in a, not in a right and is okay. is is more how can i say that it's softer for the touch <laughs> yeah so i'm just saying i'm just yeah, saying yeah yeah i understand <laughs> now but what what happened what did they do this company that i'm talking to you about diversified in the end now they manufacture men boxers um they manufacture other things for women okay baby dolls and things like that <laughs> uh, pajamas they they manufacture pajamas too <clears throat> and you can find it in, in any super selectors okay so so they they had to adapt because chinese competitors are a monster Exactly. They finished the, the market. I'll tell you about that tomorrow so we can continue with this topic. I'm staying with Joelman tonight. Monday. I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys. Good night. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the class. Adriana Jose, I'm mean, sorry, Adriana Jose Serna Duran. Didn't show up. Daniel Antonio Luna. I'm here. Good night. Erika Jasmine Martinez Scarpio. She's a little sick. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present. Thank you. Hector Francisco Morales Rico. Present. Thank you. Ivan Petrovic Guzman Aquino. Present. Thank you. Good night. Jamie Present. Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Good night, Jamie. Joelman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Thank you. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Lucy Nathalie Juarez de Ramirez. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present. Thank you. Good night. Ruth Isela Joaquin Flores. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. And Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Here. Thank you, guys. I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Good night. Have a good weekend. Same Bye. -bye. To you. See you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. Saúl, buenas noches. A ver, esta es primera vez que estamos juntos en, en un grupo. Fíjate que yo suelo hacer algo en tres preguntas bien sencillas um, para conocer un poco más a los alumnos. So, y en primera pregunta, ¿cuál ha sido tu experiencia con esto de aprender inglés? ¿Hace cuánto tiempo llevas? No? Eh, eh, sin mencionar nombres de academias, pero cuál ha sido tu historia con el inglés. Dentro de esta um, experiencia, has logrado identificar tú eh, cuál es tu, tu área principal de oportunidad. O sea, es hablarlo, escribirlo, entenderlo. ¿Qué es lo que más te cuesta? Y la última pregunta, aparte de recibir las dos horas de clase, ¿qué más estás haciendo para aprender inglés? Bueno. Um, um, I was, I was to, I was to you to university. I went. Uh, I I went. I went. I went to university one year. Mm. And uh, I I I was uh, I I was studying English, but I just studied the basic in one year. Mm. But was like I I I just wanna I just wanna uh, learn English, but I have to to. I have more more subjects. It's like I have to work and then mm. I have to to university. I just wanna uh, uh, learn English, but I have more sub uh, subject. It's okay. like I I I I. You didn't I, have time. I didn't have time. But I uh, 
I don't remember how can I say aprendí in, in past. I, I learned. I learned. I learned. I learned. I I I don't I don't I didn't yeah, I learned a little bit but it's okay. Mm -hmm. And then what I I I know I knew I knew the that that academy. Uh -huh. academy. Oh you heard you heard about the academy, uh huh. It was like, oh, it's okay because it's just it's it's just English. It's just English, okay. So, uh, that's that has been your experience. What is it difficult for you? What is the most difficult part for you? Writing, speaking, listening, listening, <laughs> listening. Yes. But yes. you understand that? Mm, are you sure it's listening? I I nah. I I understand I understand basic conversation. I understand uh ba just basic basic conversation. But if I I I listen as a song or a interview, maybe interview is a, a little bit easy, but as a, a song or a video is very difficult for me. I understand a little bit. Mm. I okay. just understand uh, mm -hmm. basic conversation. Okay, yeah. good. What are you doing to improve? Uh, just the two hours? I have a problem because all time I am tired. It's like... Uh, you to, are have... tired. Yes. What do you do in your job? I am. Uh, I work in a uh, in in uh, I don't. I don't know how can I say. Uh, I don't remember the word. Say it in Spanish. What is it? Ah, uh, bodega. Uh, okay, in a warehouse. Warehouse. I am. Uh, I am a warehouse man. <laughs> okay. It's but like you don't you don't look cholo, you don't look chubby. Nah, yeah. Really? I, I work I, I work. You you understand. Yes. You understand that 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 way for to jump to, mm -hmm. to work. It's okay because I am I it's not like uh, stay stressful with a computer, and it's like, oh, yeah. And then the class, I think, is the balance. Uh, mm -hmm. and in that, in that way, and then study is like a, a balance, it's true, yes, but okay. uh, now I. All time I am tired, and in my in my day off, I I I just wanna uh, take a rest and go out, and sometimes sometimes I I study a little bit, I practice with a a friend a little bit. Mm -hmm. I it's not my problem. I, it's like yo, it's just to the class. I think mm -hmm. ah, just the class, just mm -hmm. the class, because I am English. I I I don't wanna. <laughs> I I love the English. I like the the music and I like the I I I, I my dream is work with 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 English. Okay, gentlemen, how old are you? Uh twenty three. For the next seven years. You can decide if you want to have a house or a beautiful car or a beautiful family. Whatever you want to do, you can do it in seven years. Graduate yeah. from a career, whatever you want to do. So seven years. In the next two years, what will 
increase your salary? ¿Qué va a triplicar? What's going to triple your salary? Is it graduating from a career? Nah. No, no, no. You better study English. Two years is a long time. In one year, you can learn English. You experienced. Ya lo experimentas en la universidad, right? So for one year, if you if you apply yourself, like there is your life, you know, I'm going to learn English. I'm going to learn English. That's all I need. Computers and English, English, English. One year, two years, okay? Now in two years, you are able to pay the university 25 years. You will be 25 years. Five years, you finish your career. Okay. Of course, sweating. Sweating. No girlfriend, no, no children, no married. Okay, don't get married. By the time you're 30, you have a career, you speak English, you have a great job. I mean... Okay. It's, it's my... It's my... It's my dream. It's don't my dream. no 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 don't make it a dream. Set a set a goal. Set a goal right now. Tomorrow. No oh, no no no. Monday. Monday. Where are you going to to start? I mean, the first thing, organize during the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Organize your time. So I work from here to here. Lo que yo haría si estuviese en tus zapatos ahorita es matar el cansancio. Cansándome más. ¿Ok? El cansancio es un estado físico, sí. Pero lo puedes controlar mentalmente. Te lo digo con, por experiencia. Yo solía dar clases de 6 de la mañana a 9 de la noche. Del lunes a viernes. El sábado era peor. De 7 de la, de la mañana hasta las 7 de la noche. O sea, pero se sentía más pesado. Y todavía trabajaba el domingo de 6 a.m. hasta la 1 y media de la tarde. Y así estuve durante cuatro años. Pero el punto es, el tiempo se te va, se te va a acabar el tiempo. Entonces, volarle ojo a eso, ¿sí? Sí, ¿sí? Y te digo eso del trabajar tanto porque a veces llegaba a la clase que terminaba a las nueve de la noche, exhausto, pero o sea, quemado. Y era suficiente para mí. Todavía iba al gimnasio, hacía ejercicio, caminaba mucho, ¿ok? Pero el cansancio se me iba con dormir 3, 4 o 5 horas. Y esto te estoy hablando, tenía 35 años. O sea, a mí me hubiesen dicho lo que te estoy diciendo ahorita. Lo hubiera tomado muy en serio. O sea, porque es tan fácil como eso. Después me lo vas a agradecer. Cuando tengas 30 años y ya te estés graduando de la universidad, hablando en inglés. Las bichas te van a buscar, ya vas a poder planear si quieres una casa o ya la vas a tener si Dios quiere, un carro chivo. Ahora sí ya puedo buscar una bicha. Así, ¿Ah, simple as that. Yo más o menos lo hice, fíjate. Me hice de la casa, no me gust no pensaba en carros en ese momento, me gustaba caminar mucho. La casa, esa fue la prioridad. Y a puro trabajo de call center en tres años la, tuve, la, la terminé de pagar. Entonces, sí se puede, pero estás a tiempo, men, ahorita es, uff, yo no sé tener 25 años. <ríe> ok, so, ánimo. Cheer up. Yes. Es que, uh, cuando, cuando uno está joven, en lo que menos piensa en el tiempo libre es en estudiar. O sea, a mí me gusta el inglés, o sea, me gusta, pero... No ¿Quieres, ¿Quieres vivir tu vida? Yo lo sé. O sea, ya, ya esa es otra cosa que yo haría. ¿Vos crees? Quisiera regresar en el tiempo. Tener 25 años. Uf, hubiera hecho y deshecho, de verdad. Pero, o sea, con la mentalidad que ahora tengo. No, o sea, no haciendo ni hecho ni siquiera haría lo que yo te estoy diciendo. Quizás disfrutaría más mi juventud porque no lo hice. Pero, pero sí es importante eh, tener la madurez de a pegarte a eso, un plan un plan, armate un plan porque eso te puede dar de comer no es solo que te guste, o sea, esto te puede si yo si no hablara el inglés, le decía al principio puedo tener mil carreras pero si no hablo inglés en este país nada ok, ánimo si necesitas ayuda o buscas consejo escríbeme, ok, I'm here to help you good night okay. Okay. thanks, thanks good night, good night. bye bye